Good evening. This is breaking news at 11. In a shocking and terrifying development, local authorities have confirmed reports of a brutal killing spree in the Crystal Lake area. That's right. A name many hoped they'd never hear again has resurfaced. Jason Voorhees, the infamous masked killer long believed to be a legend, is suspected to be behind a series of violent murders that began earlier today. Our top story tonight centers on the tragic death of a local trucker known online as Trucker John A9. The trucker, identified by his online persona, was found brutally murdered this evening in what police are calling a gruesome scene. Trucker John 89 had been live streaming his subscriber gathering through the Crystal Lake region when his broadcast suddenly took a dark turn. In the chilling moments before the stream abruptly cut off, Viewers reported hearing the sound of breaking glass and what some described as heavy footsteps, leading authorities to believe Jason Voorhees may have been stalking the trucker for some time before attacking. Eyewitness reports indicate the live stream attracted a large number of viewers who were horrified as the sound of a violent struggle filled the screen, followed by a sharp cry for help before everything went dark. Authorities responded to the scene, but it was too late. Trucker John 89 was found dead making him the first confirmed victim of this horrific resurgence. Local law enforcement has since been working to piece together the timeline of events, and at this hour, the body count has tragically risen. Multiple additional murders have now been confirmed within the last several hours at the nearby Camp Crystal Lake. The victims, believed to be part of the subscriber gathering, were found brutally slain, consistent with the violent methods linked to Jason Voorhees. Among the dead are several individuals who were loyal subscribers to Trucker John, including individuals identified by their online usernames. Pixins, You're Bad the Scott, Intensify the Tribal Chief, Random 666, and Tilted Cyanide. Their bodies were found scattered throughout the campgrounds in scenes that investigators are describing as disturbingly reminiscent of Voorhees' past massacres. As residents of Crystal Lake and surrounding communities go into lockdown, we are learning more about the potential resurgence of Jason Voorhees. Long thought to be nothing more than a myth, it appears this nightmare has returned. And once again, lives are being lost in horrifying ways. The Crystal Lake Sheriff's Department has urged residents to stay indoors and to avoid the entire lake area. Local roads leading to the campgrounds have been closed, and authorities are warning that Voorhees is armed dangerous, and potentially unstoppable. The sheriff's message earlier was as follows. We're dealing with a very dangerous individual, one who has been responsible for countless deaths in the past. This is not a prank or urban legend. Jason Voorhees is real, and he is currently at large. We strongly urge everyone to stay in their homes, lock all doors and windows, and report any suspicious activity immediately. This is a developing and rapidly escalating situation. As Jason Voorhees, long believed to have vanished, has returned to terrorize Crystal Lake once more. Many fear that, as in the past, his reign of terror could continue until he is stopped, or until no one is left. Authorities are working around the clock to bring this situation under control. But the community is gripped by fear, with many wondering how this could happen again after so many years of apparent peace. Jason Voorhees, the relentless killer who has haunted Crystal Lake for decades, is back. His first confirmed victim, Trucker John 89, was murdered earlier this evening, and now a string of camp counselors have tragically followed. We will remain on the air with continuous updates as new information comes in. As we learn more, we remind you that this is an extremely dangerous and fluid situation. Residents are advised to follow all warnings from law enforcement and avoid any areas near Crystal Lake. In addition to the sheriff's warnings, the FBI has been called in to assist with the investigation as the scale of these events grows increasingly dire. With Jason Voorhees potentially on the loose, the fate of Crystal Lake hangs in the balance once more. We will keep you informed as more details emerge. Stay with us as this terrifying story continues to develop. For now, our thoughts are with the victims' families and all those affected by this deadly rampage. We will be providing updates throughout the night as authorities work to track down Jason Voorhees and end this nightmare once and for all.